Park. I'll be talking to legislators. Good evening. My name is Carol Karp. I'm the mother of a 25-year-old young adult with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The first few years of my son's life were a time of great turmoil as I learned how to care for him and adjusted to the new world we had entered. When my son turned four, he was placed in a private pre-K program for children with disabilities. The age of four triggers a critical time period for any child. Pre-K is that bridge between nursery and the next 12 plus years of formal education. For children with disabilities, it's an even more important time. The pre-K program provides a real life evaluation and for my son, it was an evaluation of his next steps. Could he be at a public school? Would he need to be in a segregated program? What kind of education would be appropriate for him? It was an absolute critical year for my son as specialists, therapists, educators, and other professionals evaluated his skills. It wasn't done in an office or time-limited space, but over the entire year of pre-K. And in the end, we reached the appropriate outcome for my son and made the appropriate decision for where he would be provided with the greatest educational opportunity in the least restrictive setting. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. The importance of pre-K for children with disabilities and why it's at a critical juncture that I, a parent of a 25-year-old, am standing here today to provide testimony. So why are we here and what is the crisis? In 1975, an act was created that said children with disabilities were allowed to go to school. 1989, 14 years later, Section 4410 was added by New York, which said preschool children get to go to school. So we call those schools 4410. There are over 88,000 preschool students with disabilities receiving services throughout New York State. And in 2014, only 320 approved private schools to handle those needs. So despite the thousands of children who need help, despite the acknowledgement of the importance of pre-K, Special Ed 4410's private pre-K is on the brink of extinction. Since 2009, six years ago, tuition reimbursement rates for 4410 schools have remained unchanged. That means six years those schools have had to deal with limited funds, extensive cutbacks, and ultimately, as we're seeing in greater and greater numbers, closures. Already this year, seven schools have closed, affecting 500 children and that's just in New York metropolitan area. This year, the State Education Department actually requested a 3.1% increase. Still well below what would make up for six years of no increase, it was a strong message about the value of the 4410 schools. The Division of Budget failed to approve that request and instead approved a 2% increase. If 3.1% increase barely met the needs of our schools, 2% certainly did not. In fact, due to the continued unsustainable financial losses, two additional pre-K schools have announced that they will be closing their programs. So that's why I'm here today, the mother of a 25-year-old young man with disabilities, speaking on behalf of the four-year-old children with disabilities, who should be provided with the same opportunity that my son had to attend a private 4410 pre-K. I know firsthand of the value, and what it brought to my son's life, and it's essential we continue that same opportunity. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.